Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about capillary refill test. Capillary refill test is a rapid test used for assessing the blood flow through peripheral tissues. It is a quick test performed to monitor the amount of blood flow to tissues and also observe the dehydration. The capillary refill test measures the efficacy of the vascular system of hands and feet as they are far from the heart. The sites include tip of the fingers or fingernails, tip of the toes or toenails, sternum, forehead, especially last two sternum and forehead used in children. Now come to procedure. The following steps have to be followed when doing the test. First of all, remove the any ornament such as finger rings or nail polish. Then compress the nail bed until it turns white and record the time taken for the color to return to the nail bed. It normally takes 2 seconds or less. When it takes longer, then arterial insufficiency is suspected. And you should compare the normal side of the hand or fingers. Now let's see how we are performing the test. Here you can see that the nail is pressed until it is white or blanched then released and it come to the normal color within two seconds we can also use the fingertips which I have shown here so what the interpretation first of all normal result the capillary refill test is largely recommended in the routine of unwell patient and should be last less than two seconds normally if the color it's pink after there is no more pressure that is after release it indicates good blood flow to the finger if it takes longer then patients may be seriously ill the abnormal results if capillary refill test is more than two seconds or prolonged then it suggests early sign of shock several other factors that can affect the capillary refill test measurement and therefore it results should be keep in mind and they include peripheral vascular disease, hypothermia, cold ambient temperature, poor lighting, old age, pressure application, intra and inter-observer reliability. So thanks for watching.